Hello. My name is Dr. Satori and I will be doing your routine infection surgery today. Um, I have your chart here. I'm going to go over it, um, ask you a few questions, but overall um, this surgery is going to basically be cleaning out the infection and stitching you back up. You will not feel a thing, if anything, just vibration and certain touches because I will be sedating you eventually here before we do anything. Um, the pill I will be giving you sedates you so quickly to the point you won't even know what's going on, like I said, besides the sounds and gentle touches. Um, I was notified by the nurse yesterday that somebody did kind of sneak into your room and touch some, you know, certain objects. So I'm going to make sure that, you know, everything is sterile. We have all new equipment here. Um, usually we catch people who run through our hospital, but as you know, it gets very busy whenever you're the only hospital in a big city. So you're comfortable, right? After the surgery, you're going to be able to sleep it off. Um, everybody will be taking care of you. We have many nurses on staff today. It's not as busy. You have nothing to worry about, so I thought we could just jump right in. And you seem pretty relaxed already, probably from the pain medication that was administered to you yesterday from your intake. So let's just find your chart here. Um, like I said, I'm going to ask you a few questions and we will begin. Now, although your chart is already on file, like I said, I'm going to be writing a few extra things down, so just bear with me and we will get this done as soon as um, possible. So. This pen's a little bit beaten up, but that's okay. So, full name please. Date of birth. You are here for a, what is known as a stick and a poke um, tattoo infection, is that correct? Okay, um, are you allergic to any medications? I'm sure they asked you this and during your intake, but I need to just verify some things. So. Are you allergic to latex at all? Now, due to needing to know how much I'm going to have to sedate you, um, do you do well with uh, visual blood, you know, uh, things like that? How well is your pain tolerance? Okay. So, your pain tolerance is... Okay, so... I'm going to come back to this because I'm going to have to do a couple things first. I'm going to be um, getting your heartbeat, okay? So, just get my stethoscope out. Okay, so just bear with me here. Okay, you don't mind that I touch you, correct? Okay, just standard procedure, you know. Okay, I'm going to put my hand on your shoulder here. I'm going to start with just right by your heart first. Deep breath. Out. On your chest. Deep breath. Out. Chest again. Deep breath in. And out. Heart rate seems normal in the front. Can I see your wrist, please? I'm gonna actually have to check your, um, well, your infection is on your left wrist, correct? Let me actually look, you're covered up here. Yikes, okay. Yeah, don't worry about that. Um, here, give me your right wrist then. Deep breath in. I don't actually really. 
and just going to check your back here. Okay, so. Deep breath. And out. Deep breath in. Out. Deep breath in. And out. seems normal. Um, I'm actually going to just be checking with my hand. Don't worry, um, I'm completely sterilized and ready. I'm going to be checking your um, temperature just using my hand. Okay. So I'm just checking your forehead at this time. Cheeks. your body temperature is normal. Everything seems in check. Okay, so we're going to just get right in here then. Um, so the first thing I'm going to be doing, like I said, is I'm going to be sedating you. And for that, we're going to be using a anesthetic. Well, first we're going to be using just an overall, you know, um, anesthesia pill. And then I'm going to be administering some local anesthetic, which just numbs the entire area of the infection. So here are the pills I'm going to be giving you. Like I said, they work within probably about 60 seconds. So um, after I, I can't give you these with water, you're going to have to just either chew them up or swallow them. They are capsules, so they melt right in your mouth. I know, I know, but remember, nothing bes before surgery. I'm sure they told you that. I really hope that you didn't sneak anything, because whatever, we don't want any complications. People, even though it's just, you know, a local wound, people can still have complications from eating before a surgery, so... And also because of the infection, this is why you weren't taken back um, under the light and things like that. But I am going to be using the light once I give you these just to make sure your pupils are dilating correctly to, you know, overall body check um, to make sure you are just generally sedated. So I'm going to give you one first, okay? Okay, so just open your mouth for me, please. So while you do that, I'm just going to, for about a minute, until it kicks in, I'm just going to explain everything I'm going to be doing and showing you the tools I'm going to be using to um, remove your infection. So first off, um, depending on how I'm going to sedate you afterwards, I'm going to be putting on these gloves. So I have two of these gloves here. Okay. Next. I'm going to be opening the syringe here. Now what I'm going to be doing with this is I have a um, completely sterilized uh, little bowl of water here. And I'm going to be at times taking, and what this is the local anesthetic, this does have local in it. And I'm going to be just washing out the wound. Um, it may sting for about three, four seconds. And then since it's going to be completely sterilized, everything like that, we're going to start by just going over the wound with, or the infection. Basically, it is an infection um, and a wound at the same time. It opened up pretty bad, so whoever gave you this, I hope this is a lesson for you not to hang around friends who honestly don't care because they're not friends. So I have these alcohol pads here. After I use the syringe and everything like that, the local, I'm going to be going over the wound with these alcohol pads just to make sure it's completely sterile. 
taking in from there. Um, if I need to clean up anything, I'm going to be using two things. These cotton balls to clean up any blood that is, you know, around. And then I have just a regular water spray bottle here. And just going to be spraying away any blood while using the um, cotton balls. I'm going to be giving you um, an already filled prescription of pain medication with antibiotic. And I'm going to be giving you um, two of these to take home with you. Like I said, it's a sedative, but at the same time, it's also a muscle relaxer. It's safe to take as long as it's prescribed, and I will be giving you that prescription at the end, um, rating you depending on how well you did with everything and things like that. So. Okay, after that, everything's cleaned up and the infection is out. I'm going to be sewing you up with some um, hospitalized sewing string, whatever and some needles to sew, so, okay. I also want to point out that, you know, I'm going to be using these tweezers to hold the string while I am sewing you up. At this point in the surgery, you will be almost completely sedated. You won't notice a thing. It's a very simple, easy surgery, um, and you'll be fine. And after I finish sewing you up, we're just going to cut a hole in these gauze pads with, uh, because you want to let, whenever people get um, stitches, depending on how deep or how shallow, we need to make sure that the air gets to it, even though um, air can cause an another infection, you will be sterilized completely, so there is not likely as long as you take care of it and stay away from that friend of yours. And I think we are good. I'm also going to be lubing up the um, cured wound whenever it's finished. That way it stays nice and damp and sterilized, okay? Or sterile. So the sedative looks like it is semi-working. This is where the flashlight comes in. Okay. Okay, so let's see how your pupils dilate with this. Okay, so I'm just going to need you to follow the light for me. Go ahead and follow the light to the left. Okay, to the right. Okay, up. Just gonna feel your head for any body raising or temperature raising. Cheeks again. Okay. So I am going to administer one more um, sedative and then we should be good. Your body's taking pretty well to the sedative already. You can tell your pupils are dilating correctly, but at the same time, I'm just going to make sure so. I'm really sorry again for the taste, but we want you on an empty, completely empty stomach. So. I'm gonna put this over here, and you just go ahead, open your mouth, please. Okay. Alright, well, um, give that about 60 seconds. In the meantime, I'm going to put on my gloves, check your eyes one more time, and we'll begin. So... everything. Here are the scissors I'm going to be using to cut the thread after I'm done stitching you up. Okay, so the first thing, like I said, we're going to be 
administering local anesthetics. So I'm going to get this up. Put that over here. Basically, what this blue thing is, I know you can't really talk right now because of the uh, anesthetic, sedative, sedative, whatever. Um, but this is to put on here. So. I'm not going to keep it on here, but that's what that's for. It's just an extra to get into a tube or anything you need. Okay, so I'm going to get this set up over here. After, I'm going to clean you up with some alcohol pads. Get the cotton balls ready. bottle. Get that ready. Tweezers. Needle and hospital thread. And we are about ready. Alright, so I'm just going to check your eyes one more time. Make sure you're taking well to the sedative. Okay, you ready? Bright light. We're just going to do the same thing to the right, left, follow me, okay, right, or left, right, left, 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 right, 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 up, right, up, up, up. Gonna pull down on your eyelid here. Okay, and your left eyelid. Pull down here. Okay. All right. So we're just gonna put that over here, and you are ready as you'll ever be. So, okay. So where is that syringe? Just going to get my bowl of water here. up. I'm gonna just rinse the bottle out. Just make sure. Okay, so I'm gonna be administering about one and a half teaspoons, which is about seven and a half in the syringe. Okay, so let me just measure that out. your wrist completely out, your left wrist, so I'm just going to administer this on the wound. Like I said, it may sting for a couple seconds, even though you're sedated, you'll be fine, okay? Okay. Put that back over here, and I will be administering as needed throughout the procedure. If you're feeling any pain whatsoever, all you have to do is wink at me, do something, because I know it's a little bit hard to talk right now due to the sedative, so. Okay, now, I'm going to be taking an alcohol pad here, prep pad. Um, anesthet or local anesthetic is immediate um, relief, so you will not feel a thing. Just pressure, touches, and sounds. Going over the wound here. Okay. Alright. So, this.
this is the fun part. I'm just gonna, excuse me, spray down the wound. Spray over here. First off, I'm just going to be cleaning out the wound with these cotton balls and um, getting just little pieces of dry blood guck out of there with my tweezers, okay? So let me just, and like I said, as long as you're not, you know, upset with blood, then we'll be good, so let me just. There's a little bit of blood here. Let's see. Nothing too bad. You'll be fine. Okay. Okay. I definitely can see a little bit of gunk here, so I'm just gonna. So I'm going to get rid of this. Okay. I'm going to be bringing the local back over and putting a little bit more on the wound and we're going to be opening another alcohol. and two. Okay. So just bear with me here. I'm going to put this right in the wound. Okay. Okay. Another alcohol pad. infection got pretty bad. You need to stay away from that person from now on, okay? Please let this be a lesson to you. Alright, so just cleaning up. There's a little bit of blood here, but that's okay. The darker the blood, the deeper the cut. Remember that. <laughs> okay. So that is good. Now, we are going to be just cleaning out one more time, and then we should be ready to sew you up, okay? Simple. Easy procedure. Okay, so let me get my tweezers here. Okay. I do see... but nothing too bad, so... Okay.
moving that over here. And this one more time, spray down the wound, wipe it up, and we'll be good to sew you. time with one more alcohol pad and start sewing up. Um, after we sew you up, put uh, clean you up one more time, like spray you down, put some more local, clean up again, put the gauze on and you'll be all done. So just make sure you are ready to be cleaned up for sure. No more blood, that's a good sign. Infection is taken out. doing. I'm going to check your eyes with a light here just to make sure everything's going well. Okay. okay. Let's see here. Clean up the wound a little bit more. Okay. Excellent. So... Moving back to the flashlight, see how you're doing the sedative. Okay, great. You are doing excellent. No need for extra sedative. Um, I'm going to give you one more pill at the end just for the fact that we want to make sure that you are feeling good after. This will put you to sleep whenever I um, administer the last pill. So what I'm doing now is just removing my gloves to get the needle and thread ready. Okay, so the needle is already sterilized and now we're just going to get the thread. Just getting this prepped real quick. Okay. Thread here. I'm going to be administering local one more time after this. And then, voila. Okay, so here's the hard part. Just give me a couple seconds here. Some nurse I am, huh? I mean, some doctor I am. Can't even get a thread on there. Hold on. Okay. So we've got everything tied up. Just going to get that there. And we are ready to give you the needle. So first, a little bit more local anesthetic. And we're going to start the sewing. Okay? So you remember what? How much we put on there? Seven and a half, which is one and a half teaspoons. So seven and two, seven and two, and seven and two, two, two. Okay, are you ready? back on.
actually. I'm going to only be using one glove for this, just to make sure that I have a steady hand here, okay? So, I'm just gonna put my hand on the wrist and getting ready to just poke through here, okay? Did you hear that? That was the initial going through the skin, so... Ready for the second one. Did you hear that poke? That's the skin. Again. Now, there might be a little bit of blood whenever I clean you up again, but not enough to where I'm going to have to use the alcohol pad. Okay. Almost done. Okay. About three more. here, just, just a little bit right here, just gonna cut that. Okay, and you are all sewn up, so just gonna put the gloves back on, and one more alcohol pad, clean you up. You did, or you did, you are doing very well. A lot of people don't do this well and we have to sedate them completely, which I'm very, very thankful that you are doing good, so. A little bit of blood, not much. Okay, let's fold that up. Spray it down. Okay. And finally, we are going to be gauzing you up. And for that, I no longer need these. away. And like I said, I'm going to have to cut a little slit in here to tape you up. Just to make sure the wound is open, but at the same time sealed. I'm just going to cut through this. Okay, brilliant. Just bear with me here, you are doing great, so. 
this aside and just put this down here. Okay. Um, let's see. Where is the tape? I'm going to actually just be pasting it down with um, the edges of a band-aid. is get my scissors one more time, cut each side off. Get the plastic off of this. Probably should have done that whenever I was already Okay, I got it. Alright, so just gonna put that down. Looks like I got a little bit of blood on my hand. That's okay. Everything is sterile at this point. That blood... Oh, sorry about my nose, too. <laughs> We're getting messy here. And let me untape the other half here. Okay, this one we got good. And just gonna tape down the gauze on that part. So. Okay, you are taped and you are finished. So, what else do I have to do here? Oh yeah. So we got the lubrication here, and what I'm going to do is just get my cotton balls back out one at a time. Get a little bit on this cotton ball. Jesus. Okay. And I'm just going to dab, 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 and you are good. You're all finished. So, last but not least, to make sure you are done and sedated is I'm going to give you one more of these, and you're going to fall asleep. And while it kicks in, I'm just going to write down a few things and let you go. I'll be back in a few hours to go ahead and open up. I'll be back in a few hours to check you out one more time, and we'll be fine. They'll probably release you tomorrow, so take advantage of the rest and comfort today. Nice and cozy. And the brilliant hospital food that we serve here. So let me just do a chart one more time. Here we are. Patient. Sign you off here. Oh, also, the script is at the bottom of your chart. I'm going to sign off on that real quick, date it. And then you can, um, whenever I come back later, I will rip it out for you. And whenever they release you, you will have this to just fill at any pharmacy in the area. Let's 
thing. One more thing. Ah, here we are. And you seem to be fading out pretty good. So just go ahead and fade out. It's going to check your eyes until you nod out completely, okay? So just try to follow the light. You did great, and I will see you in a couple hours, so just follow the light and sleep away.